Alright guys, as promised, I'm going to prove to you that government is the very definition of psychopathic. And I'm going to do this as fast as possible. Psychopathy. Mental illness or disorder. If we look down here, it says the essential feature of antisocial personality disorder is a pervasive pattern of disregard for and violation of the rights of others that begins in early childhood or early adolescence and continues into adulthood. This pattern has also been referred to as psychopathy, sociopathy, or dissocial personality disorder. Canadian psychologist Robert D. Hare later repopulized the construct of psychopathy in criminology with this psychopathy checklist. And uh, who can we check on that checklist? The government. Who else is violating the rights of others? Uh, well, there are psychopaths out there. Um, religion could ac actually fall into this category because if you're if you're out there and you're forcing your views on other people I'm not talking about having debates just in general forcing and I'm gonna cover this in another video um, then, then you're you're exhibiting traits of a psychopath if you can't just accept people for who they are and you have to try to change them then you are a psychopath um, or you're at least displaying the properties of a psychopath so anyways to, to prove my point uh, govern, govern, what does govern mean? To make and administer the public policy and affair of or exercising sovereign authority in. And that's just a nice way of saying to control the speed or magnitude of, regulate, to control the actions or behavior of, to keep under control, restrain, to exercise a deciding, determining influence on. So basically, the underlying message there is control. What's the Latin translation of the word government? Govern essentially translate to control and mint means mind. Control of the mind. And uh, of course it says depending on context, but if we need more proof that mint means mind, we have the following words. Demented, suffering from dementia. Dementia is a loss of brain function that occurs with certain diseases. It affects memory, thinking, language, judgment, and behavior. Mental. Of or relating to the mind. And uh, it goes back to this. The violation of the rights of others. You're trying to control somebody's natural, born, given gift, their mind. You're trying to control their body. Personal rights. Personal rights are the rights that a person has over their own body. If you if you don't want to wear a seatbelt, that's your prerogative. You don't, if you want to smoke a joint, that's your business. It's your body. It's your choice. If somebody comes up to you and says, you can't do that, uh, they're psychotic. By the very definition, they are psychotic um, or displaying psychotic properties. So what we need to do is ask ourselves, how many times in our personal lives have we been a psychotic? How many times have we tried to force somebody else to do something against their will or to force somebody not to do something against their will? Um, because you are violating their natural birth rights, their God-given body. And if you don't believe that you have natural birth rights and you don't own your own personal property, then you're either a psychopath or you're just somebody who's been duped to believe that you don't have a right to your own body. Either way, it's psycho by the very definition. Thanks for listening.